g have domains minus 2 to infinity and 2 to infinity respectively and are defined by f of x equals x squared plus kx minus 8 and g of x equals kx minus 4. I want to write down in terms of k the range of g. So focusing on my function g, here is it's just a straight line with gradient k. I don't know what that is at the moment. Uh, I know that it's going to cut the y-axis at, say, minus 4. I don't know where it's going to cut the x-axis. So I'm just going to draw it off like that at the moment. Now, what we're going to do is I know that the domain is from 2 up to infinity. So what I'm looking at is, is 2. So if I highlight and actually show you the domain on the x-axis using a, using a, okay, we can use a yellow pen. So here's my domain. It's going to go up to infinity. Now, when I go to look at my range, my range will start from whatever this value is here, and then head off up to infinity. So let's just highlight that range on the y-axis. There is my range. So it goes up to infinity. So what I need to know is my starting point here at which my range begins. So to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to find g of 2. So I'm going to put that start point for the domain in. So that's going to give me 2k minus 4. And so my range can then be written as 2k minus 4 to infinity. Okay, so this is A part I, B part I. Find the least value of k so the function fg can be formed. Now, what this means is actually my range here must be contained within the domain of f of x, which is minus 2 to infinity. So in terms of the upper bound, we're fine. What I need to make sure is that 2k minus 4 is greater than or equal to minus 2. So it needs to make sure that it's not less than it. So 2k, let's write this in black because this is my solution. So the, the colour stuff is just additional stuff really to help out. So 2k minus 4 must be greater than or equal to minus 2. If I add 4 to both sides, I get 2k must be greater than or equal to 2. And if I divide both sides by 2, k must be greater than or equal to 1. So I now have a least value. Part 2, write an expression for fg of x. So I'm going to substitute g of x into our quadratic. So I'm going to replace x squared with kx minus 4 squared. I'm going to replace k x with k times kx minus 4 minus 8 and that's all I need to do. Part 3 tells me that fg of 3 equals 0 so I'm going to substitute 3 into my function so that I get 0 is equal to kx so that's going to be k times 3 or 3k minus 4 squared plus k times kx, which is 3k, minus 4, minus 8. So when I expand and simplify this, I get 9k squared, minus 12k twice, so I get minus 24k, minus 4 times minus 4 is plus 16, plus k times 3k is 3k squared, k times minus 4 is minus 4k, minus 8. And so when we tidy this up, I get 0 is equal to 9k plus 3k squared is 12k squared, minus 24k minus another 4k is minus 28k, and plus 16 minus 8 is plus 8. Solving this equation, Got a common factor of 4, so let's divide everything by 4, make life a little bit easier for us. So I get 3k squared minus 7k plus 2 equals 0. So then factors of 6 
which give us minus 7 will be 3k squared. I can use minus 6 and minus 1, so I get minus 6k minus k plus 2 equal to 0. Factorise pairs of terms, taking out common factor of 3k, I get k minus 2. Second pair of terms, no common factor, I'm just going to take out minus 1, so I get k minus 2 equal to 0. And so this leads to my fully factorised form, taking k minus 2 out as a common factor, 3k minus 1 equal to 0. So at this point, k is equal to 1 third, or k is equal to 2. Now, since k has got to be greater than or equal to 1, k must be equal to 2. And we need to just state that at the end because we've got this inequality, and I just highlight that in blue, which we established earlier on. We have to have a minimum value for k for this function to be true. So k equals third, although it's a solution of that quadratic in the context of this equation, it's not actually a solution. Let's have a look to see how the marks are awarded in this question. Okay, if you've got that the range is from using a square bracket 2k minus 4 to infinity, you get a B1 standalone mark. If you set up this inequality 2k minus 4 greater than or equal to minus 2, you get a method mark. And if you get this step here, which I've highlighted in blue, k greater than or equal to 1, you get an accuracy or answer mark. Part 2, if you've got this expression for fg of x, then you get just a standalone mark. Finally, working through part 3, if you've substituted x equals 3 into the expression, you get a method mark. If you get down to some equivalent value, so either this 12k squared minus 28k plus 8, or 3k squared minus 7k plus 2 equals 0, you can have an answer mark. So I'll put it here just as an intermediate, it's a bit primary, easier step to get to. Then, if at the bottom you factorise and you've got to the solutions, k is a third or k is 2, you can get an answer mark. And if you finally get this explicit statement, stating that k is this one single value 2, you can then also have an answer mark. I hope that all made sense and that you understood my explanations.